The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, available in, on Amazon. The Mike Wagner Show, also brought to you by Illuminatical, the think tank of the future. The Sweet Summits by Serena Wagner, available on Amazon, highlighting the book of David. And Heidi Tam Music, with her latest on HeidiTamMusic.com. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios, brought to you by our official sponsor, the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author, Mia Molson, Zia Missing, also brought to you by Elam Network, the think tank of the future, also the Sweet Psalmist by Serena Wagner, based on the life of King David, available on Amazon, keyword Serena Wagner, Sweet Psalmist, also brought to you by Heidi Tan Music, check out our latest at HeidiTanMusic.com. We're here with a terrific gentleman from Queensland, Australia. He's a multi-talent country singer, songwriter, born and raised on a dairy farm in New Zealand. Now he makes his home in Queensland along the Gold Coast. He's heavily involved in country music scene in New Zealand, Australia, and the U.S. and began his career at an early age, spanning over 40 years. And he's got numerous followers on YouTube, Spotify, and many digital platforms. He's also had uh, Let It Be Me for the Life of Me and More. And he's got a new release called Suzanne, which also features... Hold your head high. We'll talk more about that. Live, ladies and gentlemen, the Plus Studio, somewhere on the Gold Coast of Queensland, the amazing multi-talented country singer, born and raised in a dairy farm in New Zealand, now in Queensland, the multi-talented Don Allen, best known as the Don. Don, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, Mike, a pleasure, buddy. Real good to be here. Well, it's great to have you on board as well, too, Don. So you're a multi-talented country singer, songwriter, born and raised on a dairy farm in New Zealand. Now you're in Queensland, Australia. You're heavily involved in country music scene in New Zealand, Australia, and the U.S. You began a career at an early age, spanning over 40 years. You have numerous followers on YouTube, Spotify, and many digital platforms. You also had some uh, other releases out there like Let It Be Me, For the Life of Me, one for the road, only time will tell, 90 proof, and I can tell you got some of that. And also, you got your new release called Suzanne, which also features um, Hold Your Head High. We'll talk about that. And before getting all that done, tell us how you first got started. I tell you what, sorry? Yeah, tell us how you first got started. Go away. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> you, you speak real fast. Um, <laughs> okay. well, that's my job. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Years and years ago, when I was uh, being brought up on the dairy farm, actually, my mum and dad had two albums, two two long-playing albums. One was a Slim Whitman album, and one was a Jim Reeves album. Ooh. And uh, that's all they had, and that's all I, I, I started playing them. I started getting interested in, in them and listening to that country music at about the age of 10, 11, and really loved it, really sort of got to like that sort of music. And... Uh, and that's basically how it all started. And then, then I started, you know, milking the cows, uh, milking the cows, helping my dad milk the cows and um, and singing in, in the cow shed. Oh, and, singing uh, to the cows, huh? While you're, absolutely. Uh, milk, milking, milking, yeah. <laughs> milking and singing. That's a really good combination. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know whether my dad ever thought so because I was, that's where I was learning how to yodel. I was trying to imitate Slim Whitman in those days. And I did. I managed it in the end, but... I think uh, I think my dad might have had a, uh, a, a you know he he didn't really sort of think it was real good for the cows you know the, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway yeah so that's how I, how I got started and um, it went from there basically uh, when I was about fifteen uh, on the farm I found out that um, just across the couple of hours across over the top of the mountain and into another into another province uh, in New Zealand we uh, there was a country music club happening and so. Um, I started going to that, and that's how I remember the first time up on stage was uh, uh, at the Country Music Club, and that was real great grounding uh, for me to get out there and, uh, well, I guess, try and, you know, prove myself, get out and see if so I, can, I can sing on stage just as good as you guys can, and all that sort of stuff, you know, and, uh, it, yeah, it, and, and it worked. It was great. It was great grounding. Oh, my gosh, that is something. 15 years old, you make the stage, you're making a big presence. And what was that one exact precise moment that simply influenced you into what you're doing for the rest of your career? 
the exact yes, uh, that's a good question. I mean, I used to. Um, well, what can I say? It's, it's when I was when I was when I was coming up through the the country music field and getting to really love the music, which I did. It was uh, my my favorite my favorite artist in, in at that particular time was when I got a hold of a Conway Twitty album. Mm. And I started playing Conway Twitty stuff and listening, sitting down, listening to it, and basically getting high on that music because it was just so beautiful and the steel playing and that sort of thing. Um, and so I did. Um, I was actually in. in after a time, um, I used to. Do, I did a couple of television shows in New Zealand at that stage, and uh, and they touted me as. New Zealand's Conway Twitty, because I was able to sort of get that emulate his sound too, you know. So. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> and that's basically, that was, I think that was the epitome of where I got the love of country music from was actually from Conway Twitty. I must put it all on him. And then, of course, it all it all branched out from there, uh, like uh, other other artists, uh, uh, Charlie Pride, for instance. You know, I love Charlie Pride. Hank Williams Jr. love him, love you know Waylon and Merle Haggard and George Jones, and that's where my my forte lies within within that sort of genre. Oh my gosh, that's something you you've been influenced by Slim Whitman and of course um, T Jim Reeves and uh, Conway Twitty, George Jones, and uh, besides those, who is your other favorite singer songwriters and musicians growing up? Your other ones, the other ones, um, yeah. Oh, look. oh, Alan Jackson. Alan Jackson, of course. Yeah, you know. But but one of the biggest influences in, in my in my in my career in in how I uh, uh, basically got my my voice as to where I wanted it was. Uh, you know, I can't go past the fact that Elvis Presley was my biggest influence. You know, like I just. Uh, I just loved his voice. I loved his music. I loved his, you know, the, the way he, he put drama in so much of his songs and and just huge finishes and that sort of thing. And of course, that's where I got all that from too. Um, so he's one. Of, he was one of the uh, the biggest influences, I guess. You know, in the overall musical field. Yeah. Oh yeah, and of course, you're also a big influence in um, Australian, New Zealand country music, and you got your own as well. we'll talk about your releases plus your upcoming as well with the amazing. Don Allen, best known as the Don, but first listen to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition weight. <laughs> Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout-out to our official sponsor, the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author, Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those who love be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews in Evil and George by Howard Solaris, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and Williams. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Wagner Show is brought to you by Illuminifical, the think tank of the future that brings scientists and engineers together from all over the world, creating a method that constructs a renewable generator, which, which is a unique product operates on a closed-loop system that generates more energy internally than it needs to function. This extra electricity can be used to run everything from homes, power grids, phones, and even laptops. This power source is renewable, highly scalable, and more importantly, self-regenerating. For more information, visit facebook.com slash elumniptical. That's E-L-L-U-M-E-N-I-P-T-I-C-A-L today. Also, Mike Wagner shows brought to you by a sweet psalmist by Serena Wagner based on the life of David, including three exquisite paintings in King David's Psalms. The sweet psalmist gives a new perspective of David through the Psalms he wrote in his time as a shepherd where it all started. His complicated and turbulent relationship with King Saul also comes into play. It's a story of love, betrayal, repentance, and more. 
Check out The Sweet Psalmist by Serena Wagner on Amazon. Keywords, Sweet Psalmist, Serena Wagner. Also brought to you by Hyde Tam Music featuring Smash Hit. Baby, come back. And new music coming soon. Listen for the tales at HyeTamMusic.com. Also, take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. We're on 40 podcast platforms in over 100 countries. And for, for great gift ideas, we encourage you to go to Amazon.com. Check out the Mike Wagner Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, hoodies. Makes great gifts 24-7. Amazon.com. Check out the Mike Widener Show. If you're interested in this merchandise, please message me as well. And also, you can check out the Me and Most and Zia's merchandise, including missing books, wrinkles, um, and also uh, T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, and more. Amazon.com slash Me and Most and Zia. Check it out today and support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the themikewidenershow.com. You heard the amazing, multi-talented Don Allen, best known as the Don. Here on the Mike Widener Show, being involved in country music scene, New Zealand, Australia, and the U.S., He's been doing it for 40 years as well. And uh, before we get to um, some of your music, uh, tell us about your uh, journey going from uh, New Zealand over to uh, Queensland. Yeah, um, I actually I actually left New Zealand uh, to go to America I, uh, in, in 19, about 1980 uh, with, a, with a young family. I had a two-year-old, uh, two-year-old and a two-month-old girls. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I decided I wanted to go to, to the States for no other reason. I just was infatuated with the States. And so, yeah, we took off. I took off first and uh, uh, I got over there a couple of weeks earlier than, uh, than my wife and uh, and kids at that stage. And I uh, I heard of a, a couple of guys in Sacramento, that a uh, couple of Kiwi guys that, um, from New Zealand that were uh, – uh, had started the um, a business in, in AHI uh, uh, roofing system over there in California, so I got a hold of them and uh, so and I went to uh, to there and and actually worked with them for a while, um, but of course with having a young family, I wanted my main reason to go to to go to uh, the USA was to to get to Nashville and uh, I never quite did that on that day in in those days, um, I did meet up with. Um, with a guy, with a guy called Ron Schmick, and he had uh, Easy Living Country uh, television show actually in those days, and uh, I did a I did a talent show, and Ron Schmick was there, and uh, along with Joey Mitchell out of out of uh, Crack Radio at that stage, out of um, yeah, out of Sacramento, and so I did uh, a, a TV show with them also, which was great in those days. I won the talent show, and then they they mm-hmm. asked him to the show. So you know, and, and so it was a matter of um, we. I was based in Sacramento, but never then got the time to go through to Nashville. And uh, I, I sort of, uh, and then at the end of the day, um, your old immigration authorities over there decided I'd stayed there long enough, and they, they wouldn't <laughs> extend my visa anymore. So I had to, I had to get out of the country. But anyway, um, so. I know way back to New Zealand. We had a stopover in uh, in Australia, um, and uh, that stopover has now been like about forty five years. Wow, um, something. Yeah, so I never ever I never got back to New Zealand. I go back there quite often to New Zealand, but uh, never got back there to live again. You know, which um, I don't I don't mind. I don't regret. I mean, Australia has been great for me. You know, and uh, I have my met my new lady here in Australia just over here. <laughs> Come on over. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's Hello. Libby. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, we're very happy. Yeah. All but right. I'm, we're glad to have you on and uh, tell us a bit about what you do. What? I guess what? not. It's up perfectly okay. So. <laughs> well, oh, she was going to, yeah, he wanted to tell you. Ah. He wanted you to tell him what, to, what you do. <laughs> She bosses me around, basically. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's basically it, Mike. Yeah. All yes. right. We're we're, gl- we're glad you got to show up and everything. So we'll have you on as well. Maybe you got some singing and everything. Oh, and speaking of singing too, before we get to your latest, Suzanne, plus uh, hold your head high. You also have um, "Let It Be Me" for the life of me. Also, "One for the Road." Only time will tell. And ninety proof. And uh, tell us more about those. Yeah. No. The, the, all. It's all been a great experience. Uh, all, all the albums that I've done, um, you know, we uh, uh, the Let It Be Me was my first album, and and, and it was and, and that came up uh, exceptionally well. That was recorded here in Australia, um, and uh, I think the second one was too. But and then and then I did I did two albums in the states uh, in Nashville, um, and now I'm I'm recording back with a with a uh, 
uh, a recording company here in uh, in Australia on the Gold Coast actually, and they uh, they've been doing such great work for me. Uh, they were the ones that produced uh, "Hold Your Head High" and also produced "Now Suzanne." Um, and we've got another couple that are ready to come out. I've got one uh, that that I did send you that we will be we will be uh, next week. Hopefully, we will get that out. That particular one they have done such a great job of those. Oh songs. yes, that's the one that is a remake, and um, there is a good chance that will get played at the end of the audio interview. I'm glad you brought that up. So I was the one to uh, listen to a preview, and it is a smash. You talked about Suzanne as well, and uh, tell us more about about the song and what inspired you to write it. Yeah, well, uh, which one, Suzanne? Suzanne, yes. Suzanne, uh, in actual fact, Suzanne, I'm so, so, so happy for with her, that one at the moment. It's number two on the charts over here, uh, hopefully heading for number one. Um, so that's 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 something pretty big. And uh, But that was actually, I, I didn't write Suzanne. Um, that was uh, a, a friend of mine had a, has got a band, a rock and old rock and roll type band, you know, and... Uh, they bought a CD into, uh, I, I had a honky-tonk at one stage, and they bought a CD into my honky-tonk and asked, you know, so I could have a listen to it. And that particular song was on the CD, and it was, you know, it was written by one of the boys out of the band. I said, well, I wouldn't mind recording that one if you wouldn't. Yeah, go ahead, just do it, you know. So that's what we did, and and he's uh, he's heard it since, and he's just rapped with uh, with, uh, with our, what we've done with the song. And... Uh, it reminds it does remind us all of uh, a little bit of the the um, uh, Mavericks type style, mm -hmm. that particular style. Yeah, we can hear the Mavericks doing that. But yeah, so we're just we're just so happy with that one. We have, as I say, this next one is obviously a remake of a huge gospel song that's coming out. But and then after that one, we have another another one which is in the vein of Suzanne, but it's a different song again. But it's, it'll be just as popular as Suzanne. Hold Your Head High is another kettle of fish. Um, that I went on tour. When I first came to Australia, I hooked up um, with some of the, the bigger named acts here at that stage, and uh, we went on tour of, the, of New South Wales, basically, and um, just just in the bus, uh, in the tour bus going around, looking at all the countryside, and I, I wrote the song How, um, Hold Your Head High, which was basically my one and only Australiana type thing that I've written. And um, so it encompassed what I saw, basically. And then I, I also involved uh, the uh, returned soldiers, the, you know, the, uh, the diggers and all that sort of thing as far as we're concerned here down under. Uh, they were diggers, they were called. Um, and uh, so that that song, we we thought we had a number one with that particular song. Um but Australia thought different for some reason, and yet uh, it's still very, very popular overseas. Uh, New Zealand, they're playing it, even, you know. Like, uh, so we just we just can't understand what went what went wrong with that one. Um, and we still play it. They're still we're still getting airplay now, but it's just uh, yeah, one of those ones that we I, I love the production. What was done with the what was done with the song at the end of the day it was great. Um, the video we had a we've got a live video out on that one also. Um, but yeah, so it it sits there. I think it'll I think it'll go again. I think somebody will pick it up over here and say, oh, we could we could do put that in front of a TV show or something, you know? Oh um, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I yeah. think that's a great idea as well too. And of course, um, if there's other music we haven't hit upon, tell us about those and what inspired to write them. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, if, the, if, if, there, if there's other music we haven't mentioned, like any songs or anything like that that has not been mentioned, oh yeah, tell us well, about those and why inspired to write them. Yeah, we got uh, like a lot of lot of my stuff on 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 the um, on these albums. There's always like a song called "Talking Dirty," which um, I I, re I wrote and recorded "Talking Dirty" in uh, in the no early '90s, about '91. I recorded it. Now, when that uh, when that was released here in New in Australia, uh, it, it it they wouldn't no one would play it because it was a little too promiscuous mm -hmm. in those days, and uh, so then when I when I did my first uh, no my second album I think it was in in, in Nashville um, we re recorded that again, and it and it shot to number one you know right. it, just, it was just one of those songs that they had to be up there but nobody was. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, uh, yeah, um, a mate of mine, uh, 
over in the States, actually. He uh, he wrote a song and uh, what was that one called, maybe? That, uh, the, uh, the, uh, Liquor Up? Eh? Liquor, Liquor Up, yeah. A song called Liquor Up. And uh, great song, great, great up tempo type thing, and uh, just a just a just a great lyrics. The whole thing was, uh, and that one that one actually uh, was picked up by Cashbox over there, mm. and went number one on, on the uh, nice on the country country chart. Yeah, and Cashbox. Yeah, which I was still with the feather of my cap too. <laughs> <laughs> my guy, you got some great stuff. And what else is coming up for the Don as well too? or better known as Don Allen. We'll find out in just one minute. You're listening to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios, brought to you by our official sponsor, the Mike Widener Show, Interact Warring Author, Mia Molson Zia. Also brought to you by Elum Netflix, the think tank of the future, the Sweet Psalmist by Serena Wagner. You can check it out, Sweet Psalmist on Amazon, keyword Serena Wagner, and also Sweet Psalmist. Also brought to you by Heidi Tan Music. Check out our latest at HeidiTanMusic.com. We'll be back with the multi talent Don Allen, best known as The Don. After this time up. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1 800 303 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hi, I'm Burl Bear, legendary American author, and I'm here to tell you about Miss. The new mystery suspense novel by me and Mohsen Zia. It's really a good book. Very surprising. Never metaphor I didn't like, especially in this book. Here you have a main character whose life has been filled with despair. His wife died in 9-11. His uh, young daughter died of a rare disease. He's not a happy camper. What does he do for a living? He's a physical fitness trainer. When somebody hardly knows, somebody he's never met, he only has encountered them on an internet chat line, goes missing. This is his journey. He's going to go rest. To them. This is his search for redemption and search for his own personal promised land. He couldn't do anything about the death of his wife, the death of his child, but maybe he could rescue this woman he's never met. That is, if she exists. Missing by me and Mohsen Zia. International in scope, vastly entertaining, full of surprises. I suggest you get it, neither paperback or an electronic edition for your Kindle. Missing by me and Mohsen Zia. Baby, come back! Heidi Tan has a new release. The remake of Player's Baby Come Back. Spending all my nights, all my money going out of the town. The special guest, international recording artist Nils on guitar. And now with her own twist on the classic comes Heidi Tan 2023. Baby Come Back. Any kind of fool could see. She delivers the punch you'd expect from a seasoned pro with this arrangement of Baby Come Back. Destined to be a chart topper, Heidi Tan, Baby Come Back. The Mike Wagner Show is brought to you by Illuminatical, the think tank of the future. Illuminatical, a human think tank that brings scientists and engineers together from all over the world, has created a method to construct a renewable generator with this in mind. This unique product operates on a closed loop system that generates more energy internally than it needs to function. The extra electricity can be used to run everything from homes and power grids to phones and laptops. This power source is entirely renewable, highly scalable, and more importantly, self-regenerating. For more information, visit facebook.com slash Illuminatical. That's facebook.com slash E L L U M E N I P T I C A L today. The Mike Wagner Show is brought to you by Serena Wagner's book, The Sweet Psalmist, now available on Amazon. This book includes 30 exquisite paintings by well known and unknown painters and King David Psalms. The Sweet Psalmist gives us a new perspective on his life in this book. Through the Psalms he wrote, his time as a shepherd in the field is where the book starts, and it goes on to describe his complicated and turbulent relationship with King Saul as well as other events. It's a story of love betrayal, repentance, and more. It also offers advice on approaching God and living a life that pleases Him. Check out the book, The Sweet Psalmist by Serena Wagner, now available on Amazon, keywords, Sweet Psalmist, Serena Wagner. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers, and boy, are you in luck. Right place, right time. Tuned in to The Mike Wagner Show. You heard me. We're back in a multi-talented um, country singer, songwriter, born and raised on a dairy farm in New Zealand, now in Queensland. 
Don Allen, best known as the Don on the Mike Wagner Show. We covered Suzanne plus Hold Your Hand and a surprise release will be playing at the end of the audio interview. And uh, just a few more things, Don. What else can we expect from you in 2024 and beyond? 2024, uh, yeah, look, I, I am thinking of I should put out another album, um, but I have got, I don't need to sort of do too much work for the for the next album because I've pretty much got it all there. We've got, I've still got songs in the, in the, in the can that, uh, that I've done uh, with, in Nashville with my producer over there, a guy called Penny Lee, actually, great producer. Um, and uh, so we've still got we've still got stuff in the cans there that we can put onto another album, which will be great. Um, I need to, 2025, I'm hoping that I will uh, get back over over to your country. Um, uh, I've got, uh, I want to be part of the IESSA Awards next year and also... Uh, uh, the Josie Awards, who, which I've, I I had been in when Josie Awards first started, uh, I was finalist in, the, in two years. I went and I haven't entered anything since. Actually, uh, COVID uh, COVID stopped all that for me. It's coming over to America and that sort of thing for a while. So, um, but yeah, so we hope to get over there in twenty five for that um, and uh, and get up around your area and come and meet you. All right. Well, certainly looking forward to it and looking forward to coming to the States again, maybe eventually a little further north. And um, we'd love to have Jan down. In the meantime, where can we find all your music at? What's your website? My website? Yes. Where can we find all your music first and your website? Yeah, actually, you know what? I haven't got a website up at the moment. Um, that went down a fair while ago. and uh, But we'll, we'll get that back up. But they can contact me definitely on Facebook uh, or through any of the... Any of the, any of the um, the immediate um, portals, uh, just just contact me. I will certainly come back to there if anyone wants to sort of have a chat or whatever. Definitely on Facebook, you find me. You find me on Facebook. Um, I'm on it all the time. <laughs> I could tell. I saw some amazing posts, comments, and everything like that. We will certainly check you out and check out Don Allen, best known as the uh, the Don on Facebook. And uh, if you missed the link where you can reach, we'll go over that as well. We're here with the multi talent Don Allen, best known as the Don from um, from uh, New Zealand, now living in Queensland, Australia. Here, with Mike Wagner's show with Suzanne. Plus, hold your hand. Hold your head high. And also um, a surprise release that'll be coming up as well at the end of the audio view. And um, just a couple more things, Don. Who do you consider biggest influence in your career? My biggest influence in? Your career, yes. The current the current influence? The, who is your biggest influence in your career? Uh, in my career? Yes. Uh, um, my biggest influence, really. Is Presley, to be quite honest. Um, but as I say, the biggest influence in, in my early days was Conway Twitty. And uh, and Johnny Cash did play a part too, I tell you. Oh, yeah. Who can't forget Johnny Cash? One of my personal <laughs> favorites. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. He must have hit this. He must have hit Australia as well, too. He's been all over, too. And um, he might have snuck by in the backwoods somewhere. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And and, uh, and what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? The best advice? Mm -hmm. uh, good question. Um, believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Believe in yourself. Don't worry about the knockers or anybody else out there. Believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's very important as well, too. Here with the amazing, multi-talented Don Allen, best known as Don with Suzanne, plus hold your head high and more on the Mike Wagner Show. Don, a very big thank you for time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Keep us up to date. Keep in touch. We'd love to have you back. Once again, um, you know, what's your website or 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 how do people contact you? Contact you? Where can people purchase or check out your music? They definitely can, they definitely can go to YouTube. Uh... Uh, Spotify, um, the old digital I, I, yeah, coming coming onto my Facebook page for sure. Uh, and yeah, I'm just looking here. Oh, oh, Web, website, I will I will put the website up once I get it up and running again, but it, it actually all crashed on me. So, um, yeah, but other than that, definitely, definitely, they can con contact me through through Facebook through my from my Facebook page uh, if they need to. And, and, and what's the uh, and what's a Facebook page? It's it, it's it's 
It's basically Don Allen official. They can come to Don Allen official. Um, that's my that's my showbiz page. Um, and so so from there, I mean, then I'll answer them from there. Yeah, that's that's all good. Okay, we'll certainly uh, check that out. I'm going to go to Facebook right now and check out as well. Once again, Don, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely amazing. Looking forward to having you again soon. Keep us up to date. Keep in touch. We'd love to have you back. We wish you all the best. And Don, you definitely have a great future ahead of you. I thank you so much for the for your time and uh, and big hi to, to all your listeners out there. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hi, I'm Burl Bear, legendary American author, and I'm here to tell you about Miss the new mystery suspense novel by Mian Mosinzia. It's really a good book. Very surprising. Never metaphor I didn't like, especially in this book. Here you have a main character whose life has been filled with despair. His wife died in 9-11. His uh, young daughter died of a rare disease. He's not a happy camper. What does he do for a living? He's a physical fitness trainer. When somebody hardly knows, somebody he's never met, he only has encountered them on an internet chat line, goes missing. This is his journey. He's going to go right rescue them. This is his search for redemption and search for his own personal promised land. He couldn't do anything about the death of his wife, the death of his child, but maybe he could rescue this woman he's never met. That is, if she exists. Missing by me and Mo Sinzia, international in scope, vastly entertaining, full of surprises. I suggest you get it, neither paperback or an electronic edition for your Kindle. Missing by me and Mo Sinzia. Baby, come back! Heidi Tan has a new release. The remake of Player's Baby Come Back. Spending all my nights, all my money going out of the town. The special guest, international recording artist Nils on guitar. And now with her own twist on the classic comes Heidi Tan 2023. Baby Come Back. Any kind of fool could see. She delivers the punch you'd expect from a seasoned pro with this arrangement of Baby Come Back. Destined to be a chart topper, Heidi Tan, Baby Come Back. The Mike Wagner Show is brought to you by Illuminatical, the think tank of the future. Illuminatical, a human think tank that brings scientists and engineers together from all over the world, has created a method to construct a renewable generator with this in mind. This unique product operates on a closed loop system that generates more energy internally than it needs to function. The extra electricity can be used to run everything from homes and power grids to phones and laptops. This power source is entirely renewable, highly scalable, and more importantly, self-regenerating. For more information, visit facebook.com slash illuminatical. That's facebook.com slash E-L-L-U-M-E-N-I-P-T-I-C-A-L today. The Mike Wagner Show is brought to you by Serena Wagner's book, The Sweet Psalmist, now available on Amazon. This book includes 30 exquisite paintings by well-known and unknown painters and King David Psalms. The Sweet Psalmist gives us a new perspective on his life in this book. Through the Psalms he wrote, his time as a shepherd in the field is where the book starts, and it goes on to describe his complicated and turbulent relationship with King Saul as well as other events. It's a story of love, betrayal, repentance, and more. It also offers advice on approaching God and living a life that pleases Him. Check out the book, The Sweet Psalmist by Serena Wagner, now available on Amazon, keywords, Sweet Psalmist, Serena Wagner. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.